how do you get ready for a team like Minnesota that's going to try to run the ball right through you? Uh, I mean, you just got to find the right mix of the personnel that you have. It's a little bit different um, in a lot of ways than what we've <clears throat> what we've played as far as what they try to do. Um, schematically similar, their personnel is a little bit different. So, got to try to match that the best we can. That's the only thing that you really can do. Was this our line stacked to the lines you faced this year? Their offensive line words to stack up to the ones you faced this year. I mean, it's the, um, you know, it's it's, it's <clears throat> really really good, but different. And I guess the best way to put it because they're they are they're obviously extremely big. But they probably work as well together as a unit as anybody that we've played for what they do, um, and it always makes it tough, you know. And their their experience, um, they're big, they're strong. Um, you know, obviously their tackles are as big as anybody we've played, uh, but they're different in a lot of ways. Um, but they, they do. They work extremely well together for their, with their scheme. They're different in a lot of ways. What's unique about them? Uh, they're just a little more, um, I don't want to say Big Ten style of offense. I don't, I don't, I don't like using those, you know, by conference, but they're they're a little more um, downhill um, than people are in our league. Um, the closest one to what we see as far as the the scheme of how the O line plays was probably Oklahoma State, um, but they they use their their motions and their personnel a little a, a lot different than, than Minnesota does. But how how they they split you and how they play are very similar to uh, to that. That's the only one I can really think of. Fair to say that you're matching quickness against their strength and size. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's fair to say. Yeah, yeah. That's fair to say. Um, you know, but I mean, I think that that power, along with quickness, a lot of times is is a matchup that I've always liked. You know, I mean, it's um, you know, power and explosiveness as opposed to size. Y'all, y'all heard me say that about our guys before and how we evaluate and how we recruit and. I think that has some advantages. It has some disadvantages also. Excited to get back Jackie and Lance and a couple of those guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it definitely helps. Just it allows you to be a little more flexible with what you're trying to do. Is it any difference when a guy's returning from an injury after maybe a month or so of not playing as opposed to a week or two? I think it's more just about getting getting back in the groove, um, getting a little bit of shape. Um, you know, it's, it's just like any any sport where you're constantly moving. If you don't do it, you know, once a week football or two or three times a week basketball. I mean, it doesn't take long to get out of that, to get out of shape a little bit. Um, not necessarily out of rhythm, but um, that's that's probably the biggest the biggest thing they've got to get back and just say playing at that at that tempo at that you know at that sustained effort for that long. That when you when you're out of that for a while, that's what what gets you more than anything. I saw a stat. Um, they've attempted the fewest passes except for the service academies this year. I think they're averaging like 20 a game. Um, do you go into the game thinking, well, you know, they may throw it more, kind of like the deal like Baylor did where they kind of caught you off guard a little bit, or do you say, well, this is what they're going to do and we work on that? I mean, I think the first thing you have to do is worry about what they do. Um, you, can't, you can't go in, you know, with what ifs. Um, now, you have to understand they also – are very very high in the country in time of possession, so those twenty those twenty pass plays there may only be thirty five to forty run plays, so it's not as a big of a difference sometimes as you think it would be because they're they're managing the clock. So it seems like that you know hey if there's only twenty passes there's got to be you know that that's a quarter of the plays when it's probably more like a third I would guess I don't know but I'm, I'm I would just guess <clears throat> because of their style exactly. Does that put a little more emphasis on like winning first down, though, trying to get? Yeah, I mean, I think no matter the opponent, when you when you um, when you play somebody, that, that that's their style of play. That you you have you, you it helps if you can get them uh, behind the chains, and but but you also have to be um, you have to be you have to be careful. You have to be smart because just, he just mentioned Baylor. You know, that's where they that's where they caught us was was a first down. Uh, 
uh, I'm sorry, not a first down, but an early down um, pass play that, that got us for a touchdown. And that's what you don't want to do. So you have to be be careful with how, um, I guess, greedy is the word to use there. You got to be careful. They've run it on everybody. Um, is there a pattern to the way they're running it? Is it similar to how they're running the ball on people when you watch them? I mean, that's what they what they want to be good at. And that's, that's that is what they're good at. And so when you when you're when you're good at something, that's you're good at it. And that's got a lot to do with with a combination of scheme and personnel um, together. But that's you know, that's what they want to be. That's they're not trying to not trying to trick you about where they're at and, and what they're going to do. You know what they're going to do. And and that's that's you know that's when you see somebody that has done that on everybody. That's that's obviously you know that's what they're trying um, to be good at. Um, and, and and they are, and they they just they do enough um, RPO game, and and to keep you honest off of that, because again, you get too greedy on that. Those plays, if they're caught, and and it's one missed tackle, and it's touchdown. So there's a risk or reward. You know, you got to kind of weigh out there. Dress up a lot of stuff, and just a few plays. Is that what they normally do, or? When you watch yeah, I mean, yeah, they 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 don't, you know, if you look at just the just the <clears throat> just the overall play set, you know, however you determine that zone stretch, whatever, um, yeah, they they don't they don't run very many plays. Now they, they there's some ways that they they get to some different things that are unique to what we've seen, and so those those are things we got to work. Neil mentioned Hammond Russell is really developing and could see some time. What have you seen out of him? Well, I mean, Hammond is is a kid that that uh, he's. Ex- he developed in his first year exactly how we wanted to. He was a six, you know, six, three and a half, six, four plus kid who was a who we knew was a big defensive end. His skill set was not normally what a defensive end would be, but if you look at the, his body structure, and he's already two hundred and and almost ninety pounds somewhere in that in that range, and that's what you want. You know that you know that kid is going to be able to play multiple positions for you. As an edge guy in high school, was an inside guy in college, and so he's, you know, his his best football is ahead of him. But in the short amount of time he's been here, he's he's developing in a way that I'm very pleased with. You're gonna probably lose a pretty significant chunk of this unit, and this is probably gonna be the last game we see three, four, or five of these guys in, and they've been you know, part of, of turning this defense around to being a pretty good defense. I mean. Does that set in at all? And, and just what is this this group that probably lose after this game into this program and you personally? I mean, a lot. I mean, you look at guys, you know, Josh Chandler, uh, Taj Austin, Dante Steeles, um, Alonzo Dye, Sean Mahone. I mean, those are guys that, that have played a lot of snaps here. And, 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 and the bulk of those, most every one of those guys, some of them, all those guys, um, or some of them, all the snaps have been in the last three years. And so to get to where, you know, we have kind of created an expectation of what we want to be, which is, is, is ultimately the goal, but that's, that's done in the off season. Um, so it's meant the world to me, I mean, what they've done, what they've been able to do. Um, you talk about a group last year that led all power five and, and total defense. Uh, I think number four overall in all 130 whatever, I don't even know how many there are now, 30, 31, 32, um, led the big 12. And this year, while expecting, I think a lot of people expecting a tremendous drop off. Um, they're they're really, if, if there was one, it was it was due to to some shortness in some areas and some some um, some unexpected injuries, and um, and so we really really didn't. I think we've been good where we needed to be good. Um, it was what to to win the game instead of worrying about being good statistically, um, and that's you know that's a tribute to our kids. Um, I've always said this: It's not what we do; it's how we do things. Um, and and our kids play extremely hard. You know, they they play physical. Um, they're not always do things perfect, and, and nobody makes more mistakes than I do. Um, but I'm I'm really really proud of them. Um, they've been, they've been through quite a bit, um, and and they had, didn't have to respond in a lot of ways that they did through the, over the last three years, and they have. And and you know, and they responded. If I look. But that's the one word that comes to mind with this year and, and some situations. And I go back to Virginia Tech. You know, um, they, they've, they've always responded in key situations where we had to have them. Uh, and that says a lot about them. Um, but then moving forward, 
what it does is it sets an expectation for younger guys, and younger guys have to step into those roles. That's why we recruit. That's why we develop. Um, and so as, as much as that group means to me, I'm, I'm just excited about the next group.